Good morning, gentle friends. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Today I have a pre-tracked breakfast, lunch, dinner, and I have two mini preps. So we are going to just get straight into this. Otherwise, the video will be like an hour. <laughs> All right. So for brekkie, I am going to have some Birch Benders um, pancake waffle. Well, waffle. This is the organic classic one. You can get this anywhere. I ordered this out of one of my Misfit boxes. But it has a very nice label there. And it is 120 calories for a quarter of a cup of mix. I'm actually going to use a third of a cup of mix. And then you only need to add water. You can add milk to that. I actually froze some bananas. And I'm going to use a, this sort of softened mashed up banana in there. And I'm going to cook that in my little dash mini waffle maker. And then I'm just going to do a fruit syrup. So I'm going to do a little bit of light brown sugar. I have some raspberries and a few blackberries that were left in the bottom of the container. And then I have a tablespoon of pomegranate arils I'm just going to use to make it look all pretty. So there's not really anything to show you. I'm going to mix that up, cook it in the waffle maker, have breakfast, and then I'm going to jump into those two mini preps for today. All right, so the first of the two mini preps that I'm going to do is what is called menma. And it's basically your pickled bamboo shoots. Now these are just leftover. This is just a you know, canned bamboo shoot. Um, and I had some canned bean sprouts and I'm going to do those in the same thing. And basically you just make this like pickling brine. Uh, you bring it to a boil, let it cook until almost all of the liquid is evaporated out of it. And then you're done. Now I did change a couple of little things in this particular recipe. So the recipe that I base this on, as always, is in the description box. And that is pretty straightforward. Now I have taken the garlic out because I don't have any. I've used all mine this week and I haven't been to the store in a few weeks. So there, I just don't have any. Um, I am also adding vinegar which is not in this recipe, but I did see it in several others. And I like the taste that they have, the sort of more pickled taste. And then it calls for the chicken bouillon stock. And that's generally a very salty sort of element to it. And I'm actually going to use this product in both of my mini preps today. So umami powder is a shiitake mushroom powder. Think of it like a vegetable bouillon. The only thing that this has in there is your shiitake mushroom powder, salt, mushroom extract, and calcium carbonate. Now calcium carbonate is found in um, mineral. It's a mineral, a natural inorganic salt mineral that's found in quarries. It also is found in eggshells. So that is all that's in that product. And I'm going to use that in the, well, I'll tell you about the bouillon in a minute. Okay. So that I'm going to use as the substitute for chicken bouillon. Then it calls for mirin, a low sodium. I'm going to use a tamari soy sauce sesame oil, and a little bit of sugar. So I'm, I've taken out the garlic, I'm adding vinegar, and I'm swapping the chicken bouillon part for my umami powder. That's it. It's just a matter of getting it on the stove, letting it boil. All right, the second mini prep is to do some more of that homemade bouillon. This is V2. <laughs> so here's the adjustment. I found 
that although I thought it worked really well in the Italian wedding soup and I used it in the broccoli cheese soup, um, I just made a small batch. I, I, the first thing I said was it doesn't taste like chicken anything. And chicken bouillon, the main ingredient is salt and a lot of them have MSG. So in thinking about what I could do to change that original recipe to be closer to that flavor, because I like the nutritional yeast flavor, it just basically tasted like that to me. So I'm going to use this again. This is it. I really like it. It is super tasty. It's salty. It is, I think, what I need to do to bring this up to kind of the next level. So this time I'm going to do a cup. I'm going to do this in my Ninja. Um, you just want to grind everything up. So I have a cup of nutritional yeast. And to that, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup umami powder, a quarter of a cup of granulated garlic, a quarter of a cup onion powder, a quarter of a cup Italian seasoning. So one quarter, 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 quarter. And then I'm going to put in two tablespoons of ground turmeric. And that will basically I just need to blitz it up and that'll be done. Okay, time for lunch. So, oh, let me update you on those two things. Bullion, yes, yes, yes. Fixed the, what I didn't like about it last time. It is delicious. Oh, and so it made about, about two cups. So that is stunning. It's exactly what I want. The pickled sprouts and pickled bamboo shoots came out really well. It's super tasty. They're not spicy at all. I didn't put any chili oil or red chili flakes or anything like that in there. Um, and they're not super strong in the pickle part. You know, it's not sour, but I can always add lime juice to the bowl if I want it to be a little bit more tart. That just has a really good, deep, rich flavor to it. So that's brilliant as well. Okay, lunch. I'm going to do some mackerel quinoa cakes. So instead of putting panko breadcrumbs mm. in there, what I'm actually going to do is I have some tricolor quinoa and basically it's just quinoa and then dehydrated carrot hazelnut leek shiitake mushrooms chives and kale i found this at uh big lots it was 270 for the pack and this is probably about half of that pack so that's what it looks like and i'm going to go ahead and cook and use some of this to put in with the mackerel and an egg yolk and some lemon juice to basically create the mackerel patty. I'm going to have that on some bib lettuce and I'm going to make some tzatziki, which is Greek yogurt, cucumber, dill, lemon juice. Okay, so I'm going to make that. And then I'm going to do a little Mediterranean kale salad. So I have the very last couple of pieces of kale. I have some pickled red onion, a couple of six olives, and some cherry tomatoes, some chickpeas, some lemon juice. And this is a new thing for me. I have bought feta this way before. I got this from my international market, and I did just open it to sort of see what it looks like. Now, it has a brining liquid in it, so... I have to be careful that I don't spill that. Hang on, give me a second, I'll show you. Okay, so it's a Bulgarian sheep cheese and it comes in a liquid like feta cheese. Now I haven't tried it yet. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. 
Um, okay. And there's a little... Ooh. Yeah, the brine's really salty. So I would say it's going to be very, very similar to a feta. And that um, is 90 calories per one ounce. So, okay. I need to cook the quinoa because I'm going to mix it with the mackerel cooked. So I'm going to cook the quinoa. Then I'll put the mackerel, the quinoa, lemon juice, and the egg yolk together. Make some patties. I'm going to cook those in the air fryer. While that's cooking, I'll go ahead and do the salad and the tzatziki and then it'll just be a matter of putting it all together. Hey guys, so it has gotten super cold and I'm tired, so I changed what I was going to do for dinner. And this is something, I talked to Sandy, I was supposed to go down there tomorrow, but she actually has a full day of medical testing, so she's like, don't come tomorrow, we'll look at Thursday. And I wanted to do... Um, two more dishes to take down for her. I wanted to do some stuffed shells and a, a shepherd pie, shepherd's pie. So I'm going to go ahead and do the stuffed shells tonight and I'm going to have some of those for dinner. Um, I have about half of my kale salad left over from lunch. So I'm going to finish that and just have some stuffed shells and then um, I'll take Sandy down her portion and then tomorrow I think I'll I'll tackle the shepherd's pie tomorrow with the stuffed shells I am keeping it really pretty simple um, I just have a box of the jumbo shells and it is 200 calories for seven pieces so that's what they're calling a serving size. That's what I'll do for us then. And I'm going to do, because spinach is so high in oxalates and I'm not doing spinach very often, I'm actually going to do a pesto um, sort of stuffed shell as opposed to the traditional spinach ricotta one. Now, I had found this whipped cottage cheese at Kroger and it's okay um, I did say I bought it on sale and I I mean it's alright it's not particularly flavorful um, but I think it will work well in the place of ricotta ricotta depending on where you're from <laughs> and so I'm gonna use that and then I have some basil pesto Italian basil pesto and I'm just basically going to mix this in with the cottage cheese. And then I have a cheese blend because I used, I only had those two block cheeses that I used yesterday in the broccoli cheese soup. And I happened to find this in the freezer. So I have one bag of shredded cheese. So that's what we're going to use. I'm going to put some little grape tomatoes one in each shell just to go ahead and use those up and then I have the Kroger marinara sauce um, so all you have to do for this is you cook the shells first then you stuff them put them all in a little baking tray and bake them in the oven and I was I wanted something that would let me turn the oven on because it is cold cold in here. I only have, I, you know, I live in a little farmhouse, um, which is not very well insulated and I only have one heater. So I have that in the bedroom and the kitchen gets kind of cold. So I'm going to use the 
oven oven <laughs> to, and heat up this part of the house a little bit. Okay, that's it. Um, and this will be, I don't know how this will, I haven't tracked this yet because I changed what I was going to do. But I'm sure it will be within the calories I have left. So I will finish that and I will talk to you guys a little bit and then that will be the end of today. Hey guys, good evening. Oh, I am exhausted. I am ready for bed. It's been a long day. So let's see. Um, what did I have for breakfast? Oh, okay. Birch Bender pancake things. So it was my first time using frozen banana in anything. And I don't know that it was particularly... I don't know that it made a whole lot of difference. Um, I might try applesauce in its place next time because, I don't know, I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't anything to write home about. And, you know, bananas are so, uh, they're actually moderately high in calories. So the size that I buy uh, is, is a medium, and they're about 105 calories for the whole thing. So I only used half, but still, it was, yeah. Um, so I might use applesauce next time. Then I did two mini preps. I did a different version of the uh, chicken bullion stock, dry powder stock. And, oh, and the, and pickled bamboo shoots. So... That umami mushroom powder is the key. That thing, that is great. I actually don't have a whole lot left. I need to order another bag. But it fixed what I was missing in the chicken bullion one. And it was really good. And the bamboo shoots... Whew, my eyes are hurting. Uh, the bamboo shoots are not like tart pickled like they're not a, a sour shoot but it was really tasty and the recipe says they're okay in the fridge for up to a week so I think I'm going to do a ramen bowl to, or a noodle bowl tomorrow or the day after and go ahead and use up some of those because it's uh, they, were, they were good they were tasty then what did I do for lunch oh excuse me mackerel cakes. So quinoa, not a good substitute for the breadcrumbs in that particular recipe anyway. They were not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but they didn't hold together well. Um, so I will go back to the way that I normally make them, which is just the mackerel and egg yolk, panko, and some seasoning and stuff. Okay. So there's that part and then for dinner oh for dinner I changed it from what I was going to have and I did the stuffed shells and I took four for me to have tonight and I packaged up the other ones for Sandy so she has those as well and then that was the end of my day then right yeah 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 that was the end of the day so I have a couple of other things that I want to get done before I go down to Sandy's. Um, I'm going to hopefully do a shepherd pie, shepherd's pie tomorrow. And I'll have one serving. I'll put one serving in my freezer and I'll take two down to Sandy. Then what else? 
at some point in the next three or four days. I need to do a grocery shop. I haven't left here in over two weeks. Um, and I, I can tell, like, I'm, my, I'm, I'm getting low on stuff and stuff that I would need for a recipe. And I'm like, oh, it'll be okay. I'll just leave it out. <laughs> so I need to do that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Let us do a card of the day. Uh, because I'm tired. I gotta go to bed. If you haven't seen them or you don't know what I'm talking about, a friend of mine gave me this deck of positive affirmation cards. And I basically am pulling one a day for to share with you guys for us to kind of put that energy out into the universe for the following day. Okay. There we are. Sorry, I'm, I'm tired. My hands are hurting too. All right. What do we got? I think that says playfulness. I'm trying to read it backwards. Okay. So here is our here's our vibe for tomorrow. I am a playful participant in life, and I always have the option to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins put sugar in the medicine for a reason. That lady really knows how to party. <laughs> okay, so loosen up, have fun with things. And I think that that's important, and I'm, I'm not going to... I'm just tired enough that I could actually end up going into this whole like waxing philosophical thing, but I'm not going to. So, uh, I, I think it is important that we don't take ourselves incredibly seriously all the time. And, you know, we sort of take things in stride and make the best of any situation, especially ones we can't control. If the only thing that we can control is our reaction to it, and how we deal with it, how we cope with it, then to finding a way to find the joy in things and to find the uh, silver lining if it's there. That's not a bad thing. I tend to live in a a little bit of a idealist bubble, an optimist bubble. And for the most part, it serves me okay. It's been popped a few times, but you know, we're good. All right, that's it. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow and let's see what we can get done and knocked out. All right, you guys have a great night. I'll talk to you later.